can help get the word out as well as raise money to help develop a screening test at the third annual Savannah Teal Walk. Teal stands for Tell Every Amazing Lady About Ovarian Cancer. You will also meet and celebrate with ovarian cancer survivors at the event that's coming up September 24th at Lake Mayor. And joining us now we have Vanessa Tindall and Karina McRae. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Representing the Teal organization, is that correct? Well, my sister. Okay. My sister Simone is a survivor. Okay. And um, she's been battling ovarian cancer now since 2012. And she lives in New York City, and she walks in New York. And so when I heard about them having a walk here in Savannah last year, I jumped on board, and we had a big crowd, and we're hoping to have an even bigger crowd this year. You're, you're wearing the T-shirt, Team Simone. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you can join the teams. You can form your own team, yes. too. If mm -hmm. you'd like, you can walk as an individual, and you can just donate if you want to do that. That as is well. correct. All kinds of ways to be involved. There's some pictures of the team. Some and so this is a national awareness campaign that Savannah has jumped on board with three years now. Yes. And it uh, keeps getting a little bit bigger every year, doesn't it? It does. So pink is not the only cancer <laughs> <No>. awareness. <laughs> you, you are proving that <laughs> today. So uh, talk a little bit, um, Karina, about your involvement as well, please. Well, I am actually with the um, South University. That's the school we go to. We're a far I'm in the pharmacy program. And we actually wanted to get involved by one of my fraternity brothers, Mandy Irving. She actually brought this ideal because her actual aunt suffered from ovarian cancer. So she wanted to bring awareness to that because, like you said, every cancer isn't big. Right. And so many women, sisters, and just friends go unnoticed. And actually millions are affected by this cancer. And there really aren't any kind of warning signs or anything. So she really right. wanted to bring an awareness. And, of course, our fraternity being on our campus, it was a great opportunity, of course, to get involved. And we wanted to, of course, bring awareness and forward progression, of course, pharmacy, as well as just everyone in the Savannah community around. And, of course, stay involved. Great partnership all the way so around. So September 24th is the walk, but there will be fundraising events leading up to that. That is correct. I'm currently doing a cupcake fundraiser. We are trying to... Um, bake 1,000 or more cupcakes, and right now we are at about 400. So if you'd like to contribute to our fundraiser, um, you can give me a call, and I will be happy to take your order and um, help reach our goal. Okay, do we have a deadline on this? Um, our first batch of cupcakes will go out on August 22nd, so anybody okay. that would like some, please contact me. How, how does that work? If they're, they're going to let you know, um, it, it's through a phone number, we'll put it up on the web, on our website, and there is there a website as well? No, it's just a phone number, yes, correct? My, my phone number, yes. Okay, so you, they call and they order the cupcakes, and then do you deliver? Do they pick them up? How does that we work? We will deliver the cupcakes. Okay, wow. Uh, we, you have birthdays coming up out there, you have kids' <laughs> parties that you want, want to celebrate. What a, how great would that be to have your cupcakes delivered and, and then you donate to a great cause, Cupcakes for a Cure. All right, we're going to definitely, this number will be up on our website, so you check it out. And, and um, are, are the cupcakes going to have the teal ribbon yes, on it as will, well? Yes, they will. Do you know, I have to hand it to, um, to you because yeah, pink may be the one that first comes to mind, but teal is really catching on. Okay. The, spreading the awareness has really worked. You guys are doing a great job. So the walk continues in Savannah. It's the third, eight, uh, third yes, annual, third. correct? Mm -hmm. And it, it's just getting bigger and bigger all the time. And with partnerships like this, South... <clears throat> Excuse me, South University, it is just going to keep growing for our area. And how's your sister doing? She is doing really well. She's actually <laughs> going to make the walk this year, so she will be down last oh, year. Fabulous. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to come, yeah. but she will be here this year. And uh, my mom and my family members will come down from New York as well. Yeah. And um, a lot of my coworkers are supporting me with this. And um, my friends who make the flyers, the cupcakes, all of them have contributed their time um, to helping us. Good support. How about uh, any events your team has planned? We're actually kind of have a fundraiser right now going on. You see the beautiful teal shirts. We have that going on. If you wanted to register, we have it going on. We actually just finished a fundraiser with the Savannah Bananas. We had oh, everybody good. come out, and they actually were able to donate the proceeds. But if you guys were interested, of course, buying the T-shirts we have for this year that's available, yeah. you can definitely go to our tealwalk.org forward slash Savannah. We have them there, and that's also where you can register for it. Okay. All right, we're going to put that on our website, WTOC.com. Such a good point you made about the awareness that this is one that doesn't have symptoms, so yeah, yeah. Uh, the diagnosis is late, and the money that you raise goes to, part of it at least goes to research to try to solve that problem. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. The Savannah Healthy Kids Campaign, expanding into more counties.